Hello everyone, welcome to Lighthouse Stamping with Lorraine. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, we're gonna get some housekeeping notes out of the way and then I will show you what we're making. Um, Perfect Partner started on September 1st and goes through o October, goes through September 30th. And these are dies that go with stamp sets that previously existed without dies. The dies, um, there's six of them. There's the apple, apple harvest, the fresh cut flowers, this piggy, this birthday piggy bundle. That one is a tongue twister for me. I don't know why. Trimming the tree bundle, waterfall canyon bundle, and Yeti to the party bundle. So if you bought one of these stamp sets and you would like a set of dies to go with it, just order the dies. If you have don't have either one and you want to order the whole set, you can order as a bundle and get 10% off while supplies last or till the 30th of September, 2022. So you can find more information about this and all the products I'm using on my online store. The link is below. Uh, if you don't have a current demonstrator, I would love to be yours. You also find my email address. So if you have any questions, you can send me an email and you'll find also the description and all of the products I used in this video there as well. Um, also remember to subscribe and like. We are trying to grow this channel and we need to get our viewership and our subscribers up um, in order to do more things in the YouTube world. So with all that being said, let's move on to what we're making. We are making a card it's a pretty card. It's an I'm thinking of you card, but in my case, it's not an I'm thinking of you card. I'm going to be using it as a sympathy card because this is the type of card we all need to have a few stashed away when we need them. And I discovered I was out the other day. And so I had to come up with something quick. And sometimes it's hard to come up with a card quickly when you have uh, that type of incident in your family. So. With that being said, we're going to make this. So it's, it could be an I'm thinking of you card. It could just be a note card or a sympathy card. You could change it all up and make it a birthday card. Um, you can do whatever you want with it. But in my case, it was a sympathy card and we're going to clarify as that. Um, the multiple layers on this and I'm going to show you how we reduced the weight on this card. And um, on the inside it's stamped, you are on my mind and in my heart. So if you wanted to change this, I'm thinking of you and put something else, change this to happy birthday, put a different verse on, leave the verse out, just use it as a note card. I guess it's very versatile, okay? So what we're, we're stamp sets we're going to be using today, we'll set that off to the side here. Oh, and if you're wondering, this is Blushing Bride and this is Polished Pink and this is Smoky Slate because we're not using those colors. I'm gonna change it. So we are using Art Gallery out of the annual catalog. I'll try to hold that up. My light's shining on the plastic. So we are gonna be using this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and I'm thinking of you. We're using multiple dies out of this set as well. And then we're also using Celebrating You, and that's where you'd find your, your On My Mind and In My Heart. Okay? So, we are going to, let me set all this aside so it's out of my way. So we're going to make a different color. Get all the pieces out here. I have pre-cut a lot on this one. And of course, my famous extra piece of paper we have. Now these are all the, the layers and I'm not going to take those apart yet. We'll come back to those in a minute. We're going to do our stamping first. So we need to stamp the inside of the card. And we also need to stamp the flower for the outside and the other part. So we're gonna start with the <clears throat> this one here for the inside of our card. And I need to grab a piece of scratch paper that I didn't grab before. Because at some point we are gonna be just off the page. And we are going to be using, I'm gonna set these over here out of the way. We're going to be using Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather. 
That's what's nice about this card. You can just find two car colors you really like, and it works really well. And we're going to use Old Olive, but I think I'm going to use my pen just because it's a little easier. And we are going to be using <clears throat> Lori's Trusted High Tech Tool. So you're going to go into the light color first and do this. And we're going to do the detailed work with the Gorgeous Grape. And what I'm going to do on this one, these are all, the flowers are right to this point here. These are all little flowers, so it's right sort of like this angle. So I'm just going to concentrate on where the flowers are. And luckily it's polymer, so you can see right through it. Get those covered. Then I'm just going to come back with my, like I said, my little high. And where I don't want the purple on that stem, I'm just going to wipe it off. Not throw that around. I'm using the brush, using the brush tip, but not the point. I'm just going off to the side. Just going up in here. I'm going right over that purple and should be just fine. And I'm going to stamp this uh, right off. Ooh, this is not going to turn out good. I already know. Because this is photopolymer and I did not perk. Hmm. <laughs> you see what happened here? It's photopolymer and I did not perk a stamping mat. And this is what sometimes happens. So. Let's, oh, and I got, well, this is why I cut ones every once in a while. Because I got ink on it. So let me clean this real quick. This is real life here. These things happen, you forget to do something. So we'll get that cleaned off real fast. You can hear the fighter going over. I'm really sorry. We are unfortunately in the flight path of the Portland International Airport and the National Guard. And for some reason this morning, they've decided to be up early doing flights. So I thought they were done started filming a few minutes ago, about 10 minutes ago, I thought they were done, but evidently they're not. So we may have to have a few more fighters go overhead. It doesn't help I have all the windows in the house open. Try to cool the house down before we get up. We're supposed to be about 98 today. We were at What is going on today? I'm having a stamping problem here today. I'm getting spe speckles. And it's not supposed to be speckled, but it's not bad. So I'm gonna go with it. For some reason, I'm getting a speckly thing. I don't know if it's the heat or what it is, but we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. I'm gonna show you how to stamp it the way it is. We're going to try one more time because we do have another side and I'm going to make sure this thing is really dry. Could have been a little wet. We have a second side. We're okay. Like I said, this is real life. Things don't always work for me, just like everybody else. Sometimes you have to stamp something a couple times. Don't worry if it doesn't work this time. I'm set. Mm, not too bad. And then you take this little guy here, this little small one. You just come in here. This is not the best. I don't know why I'm getting this uh, modeling today, but it looks pretty good. 
just like that. A little model, but I like it, so we're going to leave it. And then we need to stamp our verse, and we're going to do that in the gorgeous grape. Just like that. And then we have the inside of our card. So we'll set that over here to dry. Now we need to do the envelope. Make sure I'm doing the right corner. We are going to use the big one. Now you got, two, this is a two stamp set. So this is gonna be the, the back, which we're making the lighter color. And this is going to be the darker color. So that's gorgeous gray. And this is high. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp this one here. like this. Set that off to the side. I'm going to grab this piece of paper. I'm going to stamp this one here. Then we're going to, we should be done with this color. I'm going to grab the gorgeous grape here. Now if you line this up, you can, you can actually see where it goes trying to keep my head out of the camera too. And there's the gorgeous grape flower. I think it's quite beautiful. Yeah. If it's off a little bit, it's not gonna make any difference. And there's our envelope completed. Okay, what else do we need out of this lovely? Let me grab these out. Oh, we need to make our banner sign that's going to go across the top and I have a nice piece of paper here and this is going to say I'm thinking of you and it's also in gorgeous grape just like that so we got that stamped set it off to the side and we got the flowers done and the saying and we have needs and leaves and that's going to be out of old olive I have an old, old, so you guys know why I'm doing a twist on this. This is the old, old cloth one, and you need to twist it to get a good coverage. The new ones you do not. <laughs> you just go down like I did on this, the old one, or the first ones, to get that one. Okay. Let's get rid of this before I get purple all over the house. And... Let's do some die cutting really quick, and then I will show you how I made this card. Scissors, where's my snips? Back into the scrap pile. So we need to die cut those ones. So we'll grab those two dies. And we also need to die cut this. I'm thinking of you. And in this is the die out of Artful um, <clears throat> Art Gallery. Excuse me. And we're gonna use that to cut this one out like that. So let me get a little cranky over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sleeping under fans does take a toll on one's throat. Yeah, they heard on the news last night, I guess we've had officially now, 60 days with no rain. And if anybody's been to the Pacific Northwest, you know it doesn't do that very often. <laughs> So what I'm doing here is I'm lining this up and you can see where this lines up quite easy, but I'm putting a little post-it to hold it down. 
And if you're new to my channel, this is a little cranky. We're using, it's a die cutting machine. We're using plate one, a plate two, my sandwich, and then plate three. We make sure it's offset slightly to put him in a little cranky. And he's a little cranky. I named him because he cranks. And he gets cranky once in a while, just like me. We try not to get cranky at the same time. So I just nicknamed him Little Cranky. So there's our first flower. I'll cut it out. And if you're new to my channel and don't know, that little teen you heard is me throwing a die into a workman's magnetic ball. Oop. I use that so I don't lose dies. I've said before, there's nothing worse than trying to find a little hat die in the carpet. <laughs> And then I used the bowl, actually, to find the magnet, or the hat, what I used, finally. Took the bowl and went across the top of the carpet and it stuck to it. So it comes in multiple purposes. So, and last but not least is our little, I'm thinking of you. Like I said, this doesn't necessarily have to be a sympathy card. It could just be I'm a thinking of you card. But it could work. Whoop. Well, we'll straighten that up in just a second. Let's get our little friend out of the way. We need him later. Well, we don't need him later today. When I need him later. Oop. And put these over here. Okay. So let's look at our layers here. <clears throat> this layer here is for the inside of our card. So that's going to go like this. So we might as well go ahead and hook it down. Oh, that's the bottle I've been wanting to work on. It's jammed. <laughs> As you can see, that's the one we had the little mishap on. I flipped it over. That's one thing. There's two sides to every page. Try to get that as straight as possible. So that's the inside of our card. The base of the card, I'm gonna pull these off gently so I keep them in order. I want you to see what I did. Base of the card is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and burnished. So let's go ahead and put these in. Okay. And we use a lot of layers. We use the scallop contours dies and the rectangle stitch dies. So what I've got here, let me flip this over, is out, this is Smoky Slate, out of the gorgeous grape, I cut out this one here, and then I took this one here anything that fits in the middle and just cut it out of the middle. It takes and reduces the weight of your card. Now th this one, I did not take the center out because you're going to be writing on this and you don't want to have bumps and lumps in here when you're writing. But on the front, get rid of weight. This is a big piece of paper you can use for something else. So we kept that. Next is this layer, which was the second one in, and then I took the same one again, the, what was that one, the fourth one in. So it's the second one and then the fourth one. This is the same one I used to cut from this one. I cut this out here, 
and this. Now this piece you're actually going to be using, so don't get rid of it. Then I cut out the next down of the scallop here, and then I took one of the smaller ones here and cut that out, and this is going to be for later. We'll use it some other time. This will go here. This one goes right here on the top to build our put our flowers on. So there's two pieces you're taking out and keeping for later to use them for something else, and then this one will go on top. But this really takes the bulk out of your card. So I didn't think you need to sit there and watch me cut out all of these. Now you could use glue, you could use seal. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use seal today. Give it a whirl. I'm gonna use actually a combination of both. But the seal just goes along here. This on my grid. This helps me get it as straight as possible. There's the first one. And I'm getting so much narrower, I'm going to use glue on this next one. You can go back and forth. Make sure your stitches are going the right direction because the back is not as pronounced as the front. So there's a right and wrong way for that, and there's also a way we're going to drop it. Hang on. And this goes just, you can just see the corners here, just barely into that frame. Now this little bit's not going to make any difference. This one's back to being wider, so we'll use this one now. And I said, you can go back and forth. You can use all one, it's whatever you choose to do. Now, since this is sticking out further on this one, I'm gonna put this one on this side. It doesn't really matter, it's just, I figure it balances it out a little bit. That looks pretty good. And you see we're leaving, in the center we still only have one. So it reduces, you know, the all lovely postage. And this one will put it on the right side. When I said watch the sides, I almost put it on the wrong side. And this one goes right in there. Like that. And now we gotta build our little flower. And this and this are going on dimensionals. gonna get noisy for a minute. It's garbage day too. Sorry. Everybody's up early besides me. So I'm gonna put that slightly over one side. Luckily they're fast. I live on a short street so I'm gonna tuck this one just about like that. And then this one we're going to put across this way. And where's my snakes? Remember I talked about the bones, the bones, side pieces, whatever you want to call them. This is what they're nice for. I've got this nice long strip here. Cut it off. Can't put a full dimensional because it's too wide and I still can't find my minis. Can't want to find the black ones too. I can't find the blacks or the minis. I cleaned my office so well <laughs> that I can't find some stuff. 
I'm sure they're together somewhere. So anyhow, we're gonna line up and this goes just spans over that whole piece of clear to the edge of that smoky slate like that and then I made the bow already right here I didn't figure you needed to see me this is just out of some Baker's twine and blue dots blue dots now, this is so small, what I'll do is I'll pick up the glue, put it on the glue dot, and then I'll pinch it together. You could also take your pick, pick tool and roll it into a little ball. Yeah, you know, it's whatever you want to do. And we're gonna put him right on the stem, right on the stem of the flower, just like that. And I'll trim it up a little bit, a little too much there. And I want a little bling on here. So I went and grabbed, if I can open them. These are the pastel pearls. And I think we're going to go with these dark, gorgeous grape ones. Yep. I'm just going to put a, about three on here. Just to, like that. And now they're stuck to the outside. We'll figure that out later. So anyhow, here is our sympathy or an I'm thinking of you card in the envelope. And here is the pink one I made. So I hope you give this a try. Please remember to subscribe. Give me those thumbs up. You need those things. And if you need to order some product or need a stamping up demonstrator, I'd love to be able to assist you. So thank you for joining me. Until next time. Have a good day. Goodbye.